going on guys joe here for gamer toys welcome back to another pickup video i know better late than never i usually have these up every saturday but um life kind of got in the way so this is going up today let's take a look at some of the stuff that i picked up at the kalamazoo toy show um, i have a couple other things that i'm going to save for the next video just so it's not so much i like to keep these kind of short let's get started i picked up uh, some power rangers here they were super cheap i got all three of these for five bucks or six bucks uh they're a little dirty uh tommy and jason here need to be cleaned a little bit this is one of those auto morphing guys here so you got jason you know, bam. I actually didn't have this, believe it or not. It's the only automorph that I can never find in good shape. Because this one, usually when you find them, the dinosaur emblem in their chest is all rubbed off. But this one's great. Uh, the white is not yellowed yet. So this is a nice one. Uh, he doesn't have any weapons, but I already have his sword and his blaster. So he will be complete and he'll be heading to the shelf. And then I also did not have the Green Ranger in the 8 inch form here. Uh, he's missing his gun and his shield, but hopefully I can find those down the road to complete him. Overall, he's in pretty great shape too. The Dragon Zord emblem is uh, almost perfect, so can't beat that. Uh, we picked up Kimberly here. This is from the 5-inch movie line, as you can tell. She's uh, about the same size as the Automorph. They pretty much are the Automorphs, they just don't have the... A gimmick built into them and I guess Bandai thought well let's make them shiny and they'll look like the movie suits uh, it doesn't Bandai you failed but they're still cool figures I love the metallic uh, her emblem the crane looks great and she is of course missing her uh, blaster uh, I'm not even sure if these guys came with any other weapons besides the the power blaster awesome figures all three of them are awesome so let's move you guys now these guys right here this was a super random pickup. I was not looking for this line. I wasn't hunting for this line. I knew about this line, but it wasn't in my radar. And we walked by a table and I looked out underneath the table and she had some bins full of like 90s action figures. It's the hook line from Mattel. And this is the whole first series and she had them marked at five bucks each. I offered her 25 and she came back at me with 28. And at 28 bucks, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't say no. At 28 bucks, I can't say no. So I have all seven figures here. We'll start out with Tall Terror Captain Hook. He grows taller for battle. Now I'm assuming, given these stickers that say booth, and then there's stickers up here that have numbers, that these more than likely came from an antique mall. And they weren't selling, so they took them to the toy show to move them. And she had two sets. She had uh, two of each, and I took one set, the ones that were in the best shape. This is the one where you pull his legs down and he gets taller. You get some nice uh, artist renderings of the figures, the role play items, and the vehicles. So all of these are gonna be hanging on the, uh, the retail display back there. So you got Captain Hook, multi-blade Captain Hook, three blades in battle. He's a little dusty. So this Captain Hook's wearing slightly different clothes there. He's got a little more purple and blue. So believe it or not, when you look at that face sculpt, you do kind of see Dustin Hoffman a little bit. So it's the same art here. It just shows a different picture of him battling Robin, which doesn't look like Robin Williams at all. So yeah, you got multi-blade Captain Hook. We have Air Attack Peter Pan. He can fly. So this guy right here looks nothing like Robin Williams. He's got a crazy looking headband painted across his head, which they should have just not have done that. It comes with the crazy kind of jetpack gimmick thing and a sword. And just like with Hook, they did a second Peter Pan to help fill out this first wave. And it is swashbuckling Peter Pan swings his sword. So this Peter Pan must have an action feature, which it shows on the back here. Twist his body clockwise, release to swing sword. So, you know, you twist his waist. It looks like the headband on this figure might actually be sculpted, unlike the other one. And he's got uh, a nice black vest, and he looks more like a pirate here. So this is a pretty cool Peter Pan figure. So let's go right here to every kid's favorite character in that movie, let's be honest. Rufio. So this says, Lost Boy Rufio sails and skates into battle. So he comes with that crazy looking bamboo skateboard thing that he had in the movie. Shows you how to assemble the skateboard and it can the sail can also be used. Looks like they're trying to use it as a hang glider or something. Yeah, up here it shows the hang glider. You know, it's a pretty detailed figure. A lot of paint apps on this guy. I love the bright red sneakers. You know, that, that's legit. 
but still adds a lot of uh, a lot of nice play value there. So you got Rufio, and the last two are kind of your like generic grunts or whatever. Um, you have a pirate and you have a lost boy. So let's start with the lost boy here. We have Lost Boy Ace hoses down pirates. Now I can't remember. It's been a while, but I can't remember if this Lost Boy was actually in the film or not. Uh, he's got blonde hair, some crazy ass clothes on, and uh, he comes with his little squirting thing and what looks like some kind of handmade sledgehammer or something. But uh, the artwork on the back shows that you can fill it with water, you can squirt it out. You know your your normal gimmick that you would find on '90s toys by Mattel or Kenner. So Lost Boy Ace. And last but not least, we have the seventh figure of Wave 1, or Series 1, and that is Pirate Bill Jukes cracks his whip. So he comes with a whip, which is just a piece of string. Uh, comes with a sword and some other weapons. What I like about this guy is he's got a damn parrot molded right onto his arm. So it's not even a piece you can take off. That, that parrot will always be there. It's amazing. Uh, he's got a peg leg, which is awesome. Uh, once again, I don't know if this pirate is an on-screen pirate or just a creative figure for the line, but he's got a lot of nice colors on him, purple, blue, green, brown. And on the back, it shows you how to put weapons in his hands. And then apparently, you are supposed to use the parrot to activate the action feature. So you pull the, you pull the parrot back and let go, and he cracks his whip. So uh, yeah, that's Pirate Bill Jukes. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this pickup episode. We got some vintage Power Rangers up here in front. We got the, uh, I don't know, would you call it vintage? I mean, it's the only line. We have the entire Series 1 action figure uh, line from Mattel's Hook. Um, all the stuff picked up at the Kalamazoo Toy Show, which I had a blast at. Uh, me, Jay, and I took the daughter as well. Stay tuned. Uh, after the next couple pickup videos, that will probably give me enough time to finish up the Kalamazoo Toy Show video. That episode of the Retro Toy Hunt will be coming out soon. So far, it looks great. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.